Alright, in this video I want to show you how to use Microsoft Excel and this happens to be version 2007 to emulate or to uh, pretty much reproduce what a normal distribution table uh, the kind that's often found inside of your textbook either inside the front cover or back cover or one of those pullout cards or usually in the, in the appendix this, uh, this happens to be from Appendix A. This is Table A2. Um, so how do we get Excel to, uh, to give us these data values that are right here, which all of these things that I'm pointing to is the area shaded to the left of a Z-score. Right? So for example, if your Z-score was 0 0.21, I'm looking under the 0.01 column, so I start here at 0 0.2, and notice under the point 0.1 column I have a, an area of 0.5832 that represents how much is shaded to the left of this z-score okay so how can I make Excel do the same thing for me well I'm bringing up Excel <clears throat> and you don't have to do this but I like to kind of um, you know kind of uh, remind myself of what these z-scores are and probabilities are but I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, uh, a statement here shaded to the left in that first cell A1. All right, so all I do is shade it to the left. And I will manually type in Z. That's all I've done so far. Okay, in A2, I just typed in Z. So over here in cell B2, where the uh, cursor cur currently is, where this highlighted box currently is, I am going to give it a Z score. So for example, as I just showed you a moment ago here, um, 0. 0.21 is going to be a z-score that I'm maybe interested in. So I will type in 0 0.21. So I'm just giving it a z-score right there. And what I'm interested in is what is the probability of that z-score. Okay. And again, this is, I'm assuming, shaded to the left. Well, there is a function in Excel. I'm over here in B3 now. That's called norm s dist. All right. Now, anytime you use a function in Excel, you must start with an equal sign. So I just typed in equal sign, and then I start to type. Look what happens when I type norm. Do you see norm s dist is right here? It's actually this, four, in my case, the third option down. I'm just going to click on it once, and notice that right over here, it gives me a little description. It returns the standard normal cumulative distribution has a mean of zero, standard deviation of one. That's what the word standard means. Yeah, that's the one I want. So I'm going to double click on it now. Double click. There we go. It typed in the word. And look, do you notice that right here, it gives us a hint that norm s dist only wants one thing. It wants a z score. Well, the z score that I'm going to give it is living in cell B2. So I'm just going to click once on B2, close off that parentheses, and when I hit enter, look what shows up, some big long decimal. Okay, Now I'm going to shrink that down just a little bit because I really only want four decimal places to show up. There we go. And I've got 0.5832. Hey, that matches up perfectly with what we said it was going to show up according to the table. All right? So that's shading to the left. What if I want shading to the right? What if I was interested in this area over here that's showing up as white? Well, it's actually the complement of everything over here in the blue. So what I'm going to do next is I'll type here in cell A5 shaded shaded to the right, right given a Z score of 0 0.21. I hope you can see that the complement, right, the complement of this thing here is 0.4168, right? 0.4168. But I'm going to make Excel figure this out for me. Okay, I'm going to make Excel figure this out for me. Um, if I want shaded to the right, and using norm s dist like we did up here, assumes you're shading to the left, I need to tell it to look up. Right, I'm going to use norm s dist again, but this time I'm going to ask it to to uh, I'm going to ask it to look up. Right, this same b. Uh, the same Z score, in my case it's in cell B6. Um, but I need to do one more thing, and that is I need to 
complement that thing. So I need to do 1 minus that result. Right? 1 minus that result will give me the area here to the right of the z-score that, uh, that you can see in white there. So I'll hit enter, and sure enough, look at that. It actually, if I round this off to four places, uh, four decimal places, it's giving me 0 0.4168. That's exactly what I was after. I was after the complement of this thing here. The complement of this is this. Okay, one more thing. What if I want, what if I'm given two numbers and I want it shaded in between? I'm just going to close off with this last case here, okay? In this case here, I'm going to have two Z scores. I'll call them Z1 and Z2. How's that? Where this first one, right, where this first one here is going to be um, it's going to be, maybe I should do it this way here, put a little like arrow there, right? This one's going to be my um, my larger Z score. And this one that goes in the uh, in cell B11 is going to be my smaller, smaller Z, okay? So I'm going to have two Z scores here, and I'm just making something up, for example, here. How about... Um, how about 0 0.31 uh, you know, or 31? There we go. And how about negative 0 0.31? Okay. So I'm going to ask Excel to figure out what is the area that sits in between these two z scores. All right. I can do that with a little bit of uh, forethought. All right. And that is I'm going to use norm s dist twice. All right, I'm going to use norm s dist twice. So I'm going to hit, uh, let's see, p of, uh, let's do this. How about, um, how about I do z sub 2 less than, greater than, maybe we should do it this way, yeah. We'll go with, uh, Sure. We'll just do it that way. I don't really care. This is this is not formula here. This is just maybe a little notation for myself that says, hey, it's the area that's in between these two, right? In between Z2 and Z1. Remember, Z1 is the larger one. Okay, so the formula actually is this. The formula is to use norm S dist, right? Norm S dist twice. But I want the larger one, all right? I want you to figure out what the area is of the larger one, minus norm s dist of the smaller one. Right, so that's the formula that's going to be sitting in this cell right here. And sure enough, if I hit enter, there it is. If I round it off to four decimal places, it's now giving me the shaded area in between these two z numbers. Right, And if I change this z number to, oh, let's say something, how about like 1.23, then notice that the area gets bigger. Okay, So Hopefully you can use this, uh, you can save this thing now. And you click on save here. And you can save this thing however you want so that you have access to this document anytime you need it. And now you don't have to use the table anymore. Hope that helps.